join me today down on the uh, venue that I've been targeting this year. It's a local club water on the Ringwood and District Angling Club and it's a large 55 acre pit. It's notoriously difficult this pit and that's mainly down to the fact that a lot of the angling for these carp involves extreme range fishing. I'm not just talking sort of distances over 100 yards, I'm talking distances well over 140 up to maybe 180 or 90 yards. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to it, if I'm honest when I first came on at the start of the year. I've been fishing much smaller waters last year, so actually making the transition to casting that far has taken a bit of getting used to, but we're getting there now. Um, the thing that I struggle with the most, if I'm honest with you, is getting my presentation right for that type of fishing. I thought that helicopter rigs would be the way to go because they'd offer far better anti-tangle properties, but actually on reflection, a lot of the time I was finding when you're going at that extreme range, my rigs are actually tangling, which is a unfortunate but it meant a few changes had to be rung in and that meant switching over to conventional leg clip setup using that on a short about three foot length of tamflex 35 pound leg core and that's the covert see-through green tail rubber and uh, leg clip system coupled with a quick lock swivel so i'm able to change my rig nice and simple if i do catch a fish the actual hook link section the rig that I've found the best results for fishing at extreme range is the hinge stiff rig. This is one of my favourite presentations on mo many of the waters that I've fished over the years. And it's just taken a few tweaks again to suit it for that extreme range fishing. The biggest tweak, I suppose, is one, the length of the rig. I like to use a nice long rig to help it kick away from the lead when you're casting out. But also how you're trying to kick that lead away with the use of not only an anti-tangle sleeve going over the quick lock swivel, but also the use of a big boom section. That's a big loop knot that's doubled over to give me a secondary kicker and help to push my rig away from the lead on casting out. I've also got a small blob of critical mass putty in the middle of the rig, again just to aid as the rig is falling, it gives a point in the middle that's heavy, as the hook bait is lighter, it's going to be the last thing to kick away from the lead. Onto the actual chod section, I've changed that slightly as well and I'm actually now using one of our new hooks that I've been testing and helping develop over the last few months. These are the rigger range of hooks and it's known as the beak point chod hook. Now these hooks are in a different league when it comes to how sharp they are. They really are needle sharp out of the packet. And the main difference is obviously that beaked point. The reason I've chosen to switch from the normal covert dark hook, which has a straight point, is I think that the beak point is going to stay in a lot more effectively when the fish are going through big weed beds. The weed's been getting up over the last few months and these fish really do scrap hard in this pit. So hopefully by having the beak point hook, it's going to keep that hook in. And yesterday I was fortunate enough to land a 45 pound mirror using this exact presentation at over 160 yards range. And the fish was absolutely nailed on this presentation. The uh, bottom of the swivel was only just hanging out of the mouth and the hook was right back with the hook buried almost round to the bend of the hook. The only other slight difference I suppose on the rig compared to a conventional hinge stiff rig is I've added a small loop where we've attached the chod section to the ultra skin boom section. Now that's a non-slip loop knot and what I've done is used a rig cone to actually steam that so it stays in that perfect loop. And that's just adding lots of extra movement down at the rig end when the fish does come near it. And as I said, the hook holds really have spoken for themselves. So if you're looking to fish at extreme range, I really recommend giving this version of the hinge stiff rig a go.